Hitler's cavalry helped turn back the federal advance toward Leesburg Darn. in the morning skirmish that opened. I skipped something. Start over. Take two. General First Cavalry helped turn the federal advance toward Leesburg. The morning skirmish had opened the battle. Bolstered by four companions of the Mississippi Infantry, Lieutenant Colonel Walter H. Jeffers forced force made up the left flank of the, in the Confederate battle line. Colonel Jeffers wrote the afternoon's fight. It was found impossible to charge. The cavalry I had therefore had I ord I therefore ordered to dismount and fight on foot. After marching several hundred yards through the dense woods, our troops were fired upon by the enemy skirmish earth. Who were concealed behind the trees and in deep ravines. At the same time a constant fire was kept by federal Where? artillery which had previously been landed on this side of the river, buzz, buzz, throwing shell and buzz, round buzz, shot. Sting. Watch that. Here we go. Up in the air. We're flying. We're flipping around. There's a man behind us. Spear. Spear. Stop it. And you know if you touch this plant, you get injected with poison? Oh yeah? Yeah, you see these little white little stabby things? White little stabby things. You think? Yes. <laughs> 15th Massachusetts Infantry. Right? Yes. Are you going to pay attention? The 15th Massachusetts Infantry led by the Federal Advance. You know what? We went the wrong way. At Ball's Bluff, rebuffed in the morning's fight, the 15th fell back to a small field that existed here in 1861. Private Roland E. Bowen of the 15th Massachusetts oh, the described the action here. It was evident to me at once that we had formed our last line of battle, and if we lost this position, we were utterly ruined. Now the dirt and grass began to fly on top of the ridge, and the bullets flew like hailstones. Whoa. Colonel Devins came along behind us and said, yeah, Fellow thanks. soldiers, if you wish to preserve your lives, form a line and stand still. But it was the general impression among our men that our enemies were five to one against us, which disheartened them. From Ball's Bluff to Gettysburg, a book, and beyond, by Gregory A. Coco, 1994 Thomas Publications. And that's a photo of Colonel Charles Devers. Mom, listen to this thing. What? You hear it? What is it?